What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a cheap and easy DIY umbrella stand. If you guys are new to my channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe and the notification bell so you get my new videos. All right, let's get to it. Okay, first of all, let's talk about a couple different types of these umbrella stand bases. Here is one that we previously made. This is the one just right out of a five gallon bucket. Now the problem with this is the base is quite narrow. So this, you can't use as a standalone umbrella stand. This is perfect for if you need a base for if your umbrella is going through a table. Now this is the base that you need more for a standalone. It has a very wide base. This is about 18 inches, whereas five gallon bucket, that's only, it's only about a foot. So it's an extra six inches wide and it really needs that for the stability. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to find something with a circle that you can make a mold out of. This is an old garbage can with the bottom removed. So the top is this section. What also works great are these bins right here. They sell them at like supermarkets and stuff for filling up with ice for parties and stuff. These are great. These are about the same exact size as well. So the entire base is just made out of concrete and then you're going to need a pipe to stick the umbrella in. This is regular old black PVC. You can use metal or plastic. The important thing is this inner diameter measurement. This one is about one and a half inches. If you measure your umbrella, the pole, this one's just about one and a half. So this one fits perfect. You're just going to want to measure that, but anywhere from one and a half to 1.75 will generally work. You can have this bought and cut to length at your local hardware store. If you're making a base like this, the standalone, you only need about a foot, but if you're gonna make this one with, out of the five gallon bucket for under a table, you're gonna need about two feet in length. The first thing I'm gonna do is flip this over and we're gonna take some plastic garbage bags. Those will act as a liner so we don't get a bunch of leak and make a mess. You're going to want to put your mold on a level surface. Okay, now we're going to start mixing the concrete. We're going to need about 75, 80 pounds for this base. So either get a big 80 pound bag or do your back a favor and get a couple 50 pound bags. That'll be easier. I just use the bathroom scale to measure out that extra 30. Go ahead and put your concrete in your mixing bin. All right, so you're going to want to make a well, a big opening in the middle of your pile. Then you're going to want to slowly add water. Try not to kick up any dust. Now when you're mixing concrete, you can always add more water, but you can't take it away. You don't want your mix to be soupy. Soupier the mix, the weaker the concrete. You want it to be thick like oatmeal. These little mixing bins are great for small jobs. I'll go ahead and put links down in the description to all the tools and supplies I'm using. So just like pancake batter, you don't want any dry spots. Dump this whole thing in. Now you're going to either get a trowel or just a board, a small board, and you're going to want to level it all out. Now I forgot to mention, what you can do is rub some cooking oil, spray some cooking oil, or motor oil, whatever you have, around your mold on the inside. That'll allow the concrete to release easier after it sets. Sorry I'm losing a little light here, but get a stick and just go around and poke it. That'll make sure there's no air bubbles or pockets in there. And also tap on the sides the outside. Okay now we're gonna float it. See this is a wood float. It's just basically a flat board with a handle on it. So you can just get a stick like this. We're gonna press it down. Get it level like I said. And when you do that, when you press it down it's gonna bring the water to the top of the concrete. So if it looks like it's too dry it's not just have to float it and bring that cream to the top as they say. See so I did this on the top of the garbage can 
than the bottom is because it's fluted and we want the wider part at the bottom of our base. Now we'll take our base of plastic and you're going to want to tape the bottom of it shut. I want this thing filling up with concrete. We'll be able to get our umbre umbrella in there. Plus we want to allow a hole at the bottom of our base for water drainage when it rains so it doesn't just collect water. Now I'm just going to line it up in the center and shake it until it bottoms out. Once you get that base all the way in there, you're going to need to float it again. Now we're going to want to take a small torpedo level and we're going to put it on the side of our pipe. This big of piece is probably going to need about a day and a half to two days to cure unless you got the fast setting stuff. And don't forget to wash off your tools before they, uh, the concrete all dries on them. Alright, so the concrete's been setting up for a couple days and the first day it was a little soft still so I gave it another day and what I've been doing is just spritzing the top with water and what that helps is that helps the curing process so the top doesn't crack. Let's go ahead and try and get this form off. I don't want to leave it on too long. Still drying because you can still see the concrete. It's pretty dark but... Okay, well the concrete's kind of stuck. I think in my haste I may have forgot to spray the sides with oil. Either that or run the plastic all the way up and around the sides. But I'm going to have to cut this off and I think I'm just going to cut to the height of the stand. That way I'll have this to protect around the concrete for moving it. Alright, I got the top off. Then what I did is I cut a bunch of these little slits along the edge. So I can just go ahead and pound that lip down. Alright guys, and here it is all done. I think it turned out pretty good. I actually even made a little top for it out of wood that I can put over it and paint it to match. But it seems to be working really well. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and click the bell so you can get my new videos. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching Johnny DIY. Keep on doing it yourself, guys. Take care.